What's up guys, today I'm here with the first massive tutorial I've made in quite a while. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't made one, because um, I mean there's a tons of sounds I can teach you how to make and I guess I'm just going to teach you how to make one today. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make a sort of uh, a formant uh, laser-ish. It's not, it doesn't sound like the last one we made, the last one was different. Um, this one's more, uh, I don't know who uses it, I mean, it's sort of generic sounding. Uh, you'll hear it, obviously, because I'm gonna, about to do this tutorial for it. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, go ahead and file new, new sound in Massive. And uh, we got a blank Massive slate right here. So let's get started with the oscillators. We're going to turn all three of them on. And uh, go ahead and make sure they're all in filter one so we don't forget that later. And um, oscillator one, uh, leave it the same and drop that two octaves down to negative 24. Um, same for oscillator 2. Um, but on oscillator 1, go ahead and turn the amp down just a little bit and do that with oscillator 3 as well before I forget to do that as well. Um, in oscillator 2, where it says spectrum right here, we're going to turn that to formant. That's going to be the laser sound. So uh, yeah, that, that's how we get the whole high pitch robotic laser, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and we're gonna leave that leave that as a um, saw one. Same for the top one. Um, oscillator three, drop that to negative twelve, I believe. We'll play it by ear. Um, and go ahead and change it to rough math one, and uh, leave everything how it is right there. And then with the modulation oscillator, drop this down to negative twelve, and uh, phase on three, and that's all we need. So this is what it sounds like so far. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the filter one, and I'm going to pick scream, um, turn the cutoff up, resonance down, scream, leave it the way, leave it where it is, um, and we're going to go to voicing now, and uh, mono rotate, legato triller, and then oscillator right here, turn that up, down, 24, and just up a little bit. That's so we get the glide. That's how you get the glide. Any sound you ever make, if you want to get it to glide, do exactly what I just did. Like so. <laughs> and um, now we're going to do the LFO. Um, instead of LFO, we're going to use a performer, actually. So just click right over here and click performer. Drag this up to the cutoff. Drag it all the way up just like that. And then do the same for the intensity of oscillator 2, the format. And now um, we're going to load curve. I like using this one. You can use whatever you want. I'll show a few um, examples of other things you can do in here. But this is just like a straight basic one. And turn the uh, X fade sequence up all the way. And now let's see. What else have we got to do? Oh, the effects. Um, I'm going to put a classic tube on and dimension expander leave classic tube the same but for dim dimension expander i like to turn the size down a lot probably like right there and then um yeah that should be it let's see but actually um i don't i don't like how it builds up like that some people do but um i prefer it like this and another thing i like to do is have vibrato on it. So I'm gonna go down here and turn the vibrato all the way up. And if, if you don't have vibrato down there, um, I'll show you how to add that right now. Go click on the oscillator tab right here. And I'll take these off real quick. Off. Um, go ahead and drag um, your macro control. One, it doesn't matter which one, any of them. Up. It needs to be the same one though. And uh, make sure it looks similar to mine, how the depth's up that much and then the rate's up that much. And you basically control this and it will Basically, if it's all the way up, each of these knobs are going to be at the top of the yellow. And if it's all the way down, and I mean, you get it. Like, if it's in the center, it's going to be in the center. So, yeah, that's all the way up with vibrato. Let's see what that sounds like. So, yeah. And that's the basic um, sound of it. So, and, um, another thing you can do, I really like doing this. It sounds pretty cool. Click this backwards, uh, same, the one, same one I have right here, but it's it's the opposite. 
um, way and you get this sound now <laughs> Yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. Um, just add, I mean, just play around with it. Like I said, um, let's see. Just make some random noise. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is basically pretty. It's a pretty simple one. Um, not much you really have to do in it, as you can tell. But play around with different knobs and different certain things. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.